so the question was what constitutes a, a hustle you know I'm always hustling I know it sounds awful and it's a terrible word I don't like hustling but I'm always calling I'm always trying to bring in new business I'm always generating new leads new contacts I'm always seeing new people um, my primary thing my primary aim is to generate new business now when I say new business I'm talking about producing new films producing new soundtracks getting up on stage entertaining people getting my band some music uh, gigs etc so uh, and it's not just my band I mean we represent over 300 people at the moment just from the one one business so I try to I try to uh, <laughs> I try to be as as motivated in the area of hustling as possible I love being able to communicate with people I spoke to somebody in Melbourne this morning and it was this is our band this is what we do we produce soundtracks extraordinary scores and, uh, and and some music when non cover and uh, would you like us to be there and uh, you know it was tit and tatting and eventually it was yeah you know come and see us it sounds fantastic we'd love you to play in Melbourne and um, it just showed me that you know you've got to stay in that zone of consistently communicating your your vision, your ideals, where it is that you want to go. Um, whew, it's so exciting, and and I think what makes it exciting is the fact that you're always opening up fantastic new opportunities. Life is what you make it. Life is what you make it. Day to day, you know, you can have a boring get up in the morning kind of life. Put out the bins, as you can see, the bins are are out for for everybody's refuse, and. Um, and you can live a normal life, you know, go to the shops, go back, have nothing, have nothing to aspire for. But you've got to give yourself a vision. You've got to say, okay, this is this is what I see. This is where I'm going. This is what I want to do. Uh, this, is, this is what I think I'm good at, you know. Uh, whether I'm not or, you know, whether I am or not, that's another story. Because a lot of the times we're not really that good at what we think we are good at. But along the way, we are on a journey and we discover what we actually are good at, you know. We get told, people are always telling us, well, you know what, maybe you shouldn't do this or try that or, hey, you know, if you could, sometimes the thing that is our biggest criticism is actually giving us a gift, but we don't see it because we're so angry, we get so offended so quickly. One of my friends recently, this is a great, great concept, great story, and, and I, I've told it a few times and, and every time I tell it, people go, wow, I never thought of it that way. What happened was, she was attending a conference. She was attending an expo, a uh, Comic Con, right? She she was going to a big event uh, overseas in the United States, in Michigan, and uh, somebody um, sent her, uh, posted it. Maybe they did it wrongly, but they posted it on her mum's Facebook, and the, the the message was something like, "Hey, you know, you're a super character." You shouldn't be um, promoting promoting uh, yourself. You should be promoting the super character, right? Or vice versa. You should be saying who you are, and uh, and not the super character. So, the the idea is to compartmentalize the two worlds. Uh, you know, but again, promote the character, not the person, and 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 don't link the two. In other words, if the character is from a planet called uh, Neptune uh, and um, and you are from Australia you know don't don't say that this character from Neptune is is now in Australia it's like you know um, very very important to keep both worlds separate I understand that and when when she when he said that to her she got offended she got upset she got totally out of her um, she just really felt upset about this and she felt upset that he had posted it on her mum's Facebook etc and I read this message and I I kind of thought he's actually got a really good point I mean what he's saying is not offending in any way he's not offending her he might have done it in the wrong tone perhaps he might have even uh, I think he put in something like uh, hate to burst your bubble but you know to start like that was a bit it can really create an issue 
Um, and I understand you should post, you know, on somebody's whatever directly, but the guy could have made a mistake. You know, he could have, he could have been on her Facebook and then without realizing it, he got interested in the fact that her mum, oh, and her mum, and he went on, and then he had this thought and came back to his computer and just posted it without realizing that it was on her, his, her mum's Facebook. Irrespective. He came in the wrong way, and she didn't see the message for what it was, for the value that it was, and she got offended and upset, and she, I'm hoping now, later, you know, months, months later, she's learned from it, she's realized that he was actually helping her, he wasn't, he wasn't being, he wasn't negging her in any way, he was really kind of saying the right thing. Um, I had a very similar situation happen to myself many years ago. Uh, somebody out of the blue contacted me. Uh, they sent me a letter, and it was rude. It was a rude letter. It was like hate mail, you know. Sort of, oh, you know, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be in films. You shouldn't be acting. You shouldn't be producing motion pictures. Uh, you know, all of these things. Uh, you know, your your stuff's very low budget. Uh, you know, how do you, uh, how do you keep uh, making films, etc. And and you know, I was a like a little bit about it but I because I am who I am I get very I get over things really quickly it took me like a day or two and I was just whatever you know and I was I was fine with it I was cool I I kind of understand that in the world of popularity in the world of um, celebrity or in the world of being out there or, or saying things publicly etc there's always going to be uh, there's always going to be some kind of an issue, right? There's always going to be some kind of an issue. People are always going to call you. They're always going to have some kind of hate thing that they want to say, etc. And, uh, you know, you just have to accept that that's how it is. So I, I wasn't upset. I kind of was okay with it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I was kind of, it's all good, man. No problem, you know? Not upset in the least. Not upset in the least. And, but I learned from that. I, what I learned was, okay, fine. If they see me as producing these extremely small budget movies, I'm going to start making bigger budget movies. So they actually pushed me to make bigger and better. You know, they pushed me to go up bigger and better. And that was great. Honestly, that was awesome. Now my budgets are better. They're bigger. You know, I've got, um, I've got... I think uh, better contacts and and the business is growing uh, and I'm producing much more effectively and more efficiently and we've got better systems better equipment uh, and some of the stuff that we produce now uh, our music productions case in point uh, are are awesome you know I mean you can't tell whether they're produced in law in Hollywood or they're produced in in Western Australia you can't our content has gotten gotten good and it's getting better and and yes I understand we have limitations I get it you know we all have limitations we're all uh, we're all always trying to learn and get better and so it doesn't matter does it does it really matter at the end of the day if you know if, if I'm building on success building on success building on success building on failure too you can fail your way forward that's also okay you know as long as you keep going as long as you keep making things happen life uh, becomes interesting and um, you know and before you know it it's it's awesome so that is that has definitely been my uh, my experience and as I said before you know the primary thing of this is when do you stop hustling you're all, you're always hustling you know that is one of the the, the, the tricks that's one of the secrets of life is you're always always hustling if you're hustling extraordinary things happen so always be hustling always always be making things happen okay see how that goes for you